Hey guys, Jason here, and we have a crazy amount of stuff for you this week. And it's not just us working our butts off on this stuff. It's the entire community and Emu Movies. So stay tuned, guys. It's approaching unbelievable. All right, guys, let's get started here. So first off, we have a ton of new video options available for you guys, available directly for download from within LaunchBox. So in the latest beta, this is uh, 7.0 beta 16, and we're going to go to the tools menu and click download platform theme videos. Now, what this dialog will do is parse through all the various platforms in your collection and allow you to choose which video you want for each of your platforms. And it's parsing through a bunch of different sources from the forums to the big box cinematics videos and emu movies, which, which now has a bunch more options for you videos wise that Circo has added just in the last week. And we'll get into that more in a second. But if we go down to select to prioritize, you'll see we have videos available from James Baker's big box cinematics, uh, lots from Emu Movies. There's even more than what's just listed here for prioritization. We'll get into that in a second. 9i77s, beautiful cinematic video themes in 16x9. Vikings, beautiful cinematic video themes in 4x3. Ah, there's, and, and there's even more if you go into each of these platforms. For example, if we go into Arcade, you'll notice that we have three different options available here from Big Box Cinematics. We have, I don't know what, like 10 different options from Emu, Emu Movies. Two from 9i77, two from Viking. It's amazing how many different videos are available for you guys. And as I was building this dialogue, it's like, okay, this is awesome, but people are going to be so lost. There's just so many options here. And Circo suggested maybe we could add a preview. Well, guess what? We did, and it works beautifully. So for now, for example, if we wanted to preview, let's say we want to take a look at 9i77's Atari 5200 theme. We can select it here, click preview and it will stream it for us immediately, nice and quickly and easily. And so you don't have to download all the different videos anymore. Now you can stream them. Now there's a few videos that don't stream that well that we're still working on wrapping up, uh, but that will be fixed here shortly. Here's for example, the Atari Lynx from James Baker. We can take a look at a uh, new Emu Movies video theme. Let's take a look at, uh, let's go down to uh, the unified 16 by 9 HD available from Emu Movies. And I'll explain, the, explain these a bit now. So basically, uh, in the last week, Circo has added recorded hyperspin themes for all these various platforms. And Critical Sid has painstakingly gone through and recorded videos of hyperspin themes for platforms and then also games that we'll get into later. Um, and so these are all directly available for you guys. Huge thanks goes out to Circo, who has worked with the Hyperspin guys to get these, these videos available on Emu Movies. Huge thanks to the Hyperspin guys as well, because now these videos are all automatically available through Emu Movies for all the, all the various front ends to use, which is really, really awesome. It's a great community contribution, and I can't say thank you enough to everyone involved in, in making that happen. The, the Hyperspin folks, Circo from Emu Movies, and Critical Sid for recording all these. It's amazing that this all came together, and thank you so much for making these available to everybody who's been involved in all of that. Because now these recorded Hyperspin themes are available for you guys, which is just awesome. So this is a big contribution. We have these types of videos for pretty much every single platform, and then also a bunch of different arcade games as well. And I gotta say, Circo has been up all night long getting this stuff ready for us. He's rushed this out. He's, he's worked really, really hard to get this stuff available for us on really short notice. So I gotta say a huge thanks uh, to Circo on that. He came to me a couple days ago and he was all like, uh, so when do we need these ready by? And I'm like, uh, two days? <laughs> can, you, can you give them to me in two days so I can demo them at the end of the week? And uh, he, that wasn't really what he wanted to hear. Uh, but he really bent over backwards for us to get these available for you guys quickly and easily. And man, I can't thank him enough. And I can't thank Critical Sid for, for 
getting the videos recorded to begin with and the hyperspin guys enough for for allowing them to be available to us it's just amazing so thank you to everyone involved in that so much so much appreciated guys if you don't have an emu movie subscription i understand uh you can download these for free from the emu movies website okay you can get at these uh but it is worth paying for an emu movie subscription at least for just a little while to be able to, to download them uh, easily directly from within LaunchBox. And it is so worth it. You know, Circo busts his butt on this stuff. He really does. He works constantly on this stuff. It's not like he's just, you know, charging for for nothing. He's He's really put a ton of work into all this stuff. And he deserves you guys to support him. So please, if you can afford it, do go out and get yourselves an Emu Movie subscription. It is very, very much, very well worth it. Ever since we've added all these new fancy features to Big Box to support all this all this new kinds of media, he's really been busting his butt to to get the stuff all available. As has everybody else in this community, uh, James Baker and Critical Sid, Nine I Seventy Seven, and Viking, and so many other people on the forums that I that I haven't covered in this in this video. I'm sorry if I've missed somebody, but anyways, awesome awesome work going on here in the community to get you incredible amounts. Of media so let's take a look at this dialogue a little bit as far as some options that you have under select to prioritize let's say for example we like 9977's videos and we want we want his videos as well as big box cinematics those are the two kinds of videos we want well what we can do is we can go down to 9977 and it will automatically filter to all 9977 videos where they exist okay and then from there we can do it again and we can go to big box cinematics and it will load up the big box cinematics videos wherever they exist. So now we have a nice combination of 9977, big box cin cinematics and emu movies where the wh where the other videos aren't available and it will combine them all together and you can download them all in one go. Uh, and this I mean not only does it does it give you incredible choice as far as what videos you use for your platforms, but also it ensures that literally you're not going to have any platforms that don't have videos. You have perfect 100% coverage at this point. It's just really, it's incredible. Uh, so huge thanks for everybody for all these incredible videos. I'm so glad that we, we've been able to get them all available within LaunchBox like this because uh, it's really a huge win. So let's take a look at what this actually looks like. I'm going to cancel out of this for now and let's load up big box mode. And we're just going to go through a little bit of what these various types of videos look like in big box. So right here you have... Uh, the big box cinematics from James Baker. We have his awesome arcade video, which is so famous that everybody's in love with. And then we go to Atari 2600, and we have the awesome video from Viking for Atari 2600. Of course, these videos are four by three, so they're perfect for four by three uh, arcade cabinets. We have Atari 7800. This is a recorded hyperspin theme. This is the unified uh, video from, from Emu Movies. Uh, the Critical Sid, part of Critical Sid's collection that he, that he helped put up on Emu Movies. We have Atari Jaguar from Big Box Cinematics. This is James Baker's Atari Jaguar that's gorgeous. We have MS-DOS from 9i77. Um, I love that computer there. I, 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 um, it brings back so many awesome memories. Nintendo 64 also from 9i77. Then we have uh, NES. This is another recorded hyperspin theme. Sega 32X is another recorded hyperspin theme sega genesis we have uh james baker's awesome sega genesis video here in the big box cinematics one of my favorites sega, sega master system this is also from viking his uh gorgeous four x three videos here playstation from big box cinematics and big box cinematics super nintendo and that's it for what I've got in big box here right now, but there's so many more available for you guys. It's just insane. So big wins there. You got so many options, it's just incredible. So let's get back into LaunchBox here for now first. Wait for that to load here a second. And we are gonna go into what's next, which is the game theme videos uh, that, are, that were recorded, hyperspin videos from Critical Sid that are now also available on Emu Movies. Uh, thanks to Circo. So let's go to tools. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is select just one arcade game here for now. Uh, these are now, as of right now, they are available 
uh, for most arcade platforms. I'm sure there'll be more coming in the future, but right now we have a ton of them available for arcade platforms. Uh, so we should have some pretty incredible coverage there for all your arcade platforms for the uh, video themes from the hyperspin themes for your game. So I'm going to click edit on that. And then I'm going to go to download images and media and give it a second to query the two databases. But under EMU movies, there should be a new category called video themes. So we'll give it a second to come back here. And then I'll just show you where that is. And this is, of course, also available in the download metadata and images wizard, as well as the imports. So if we go down to video theme here, this is new. And this is what is going to get, give you those hyperspin recorded video themes uh, for your games. So what you can do is you can go and select all the games in your collection. You can go to tools, download uh, images, uh, download metadata and images. And, and you can grab that video themes for all the games in your collection. And you should get some awesome, awesome results there. So let, let me show you what that looks like. We'll go back into big box. All right, and we're going to go into Arcade. And this is a brand new view that Critical Sid has added into the latest version of the Critical Zone theme um, that he's just recently put out today, actually, just a couple hours ago. <laughs> he was working with me to fix some bugs to get this available. Uh, and we've got it available. It's, it's so 1.3 of the Critical Zone theme is available, which is what you're looking at right here. This is a new view that we just added to Big Box. Um, to support uh, Critical Zone's new views and then also anybody else who wants to come out with some more views. So that's exciting. But this is just one example of the new Hyperspin recorded video themes uh, available for arcade games. Uh, so many awesome, awesome videos here. Beautiful eye candy stuff. This, this has been the traditional Hyperspin approach uh, to you know, to, to showing off different games on your, in your collections. And I, frankly, I love it. But what's really, really awesome is that we have so many different options now. You can go through tons and tons of different options for your videos because of all of the community contributions uh, and the work that Circo's doing, the work that Critical Sid's doing, the work that 99i77 is doing and Viking is doing. So many people are just killing themselves to get this stuff available for you. And the results are just amazing. So thank you so much to all those people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, James Baker working on, on the uh, big box cinematics. So really, really cool stuff. We're also going to get James Baker's themes in here as well. Um, for the video, the game video themes that's coming soon because he's done a lot of work on game videos that we haven't even shown yet. So we're not even done here, guys. <laughs> there's there's so much more to add. Uh, Content-wise, it's just gotten incredible uh, in the last couple weeks. So thank you so much to everybody for everything, really. So that is it for the videos. But we're not even done yet. Let's go back out into LaunchBox and uh, just want to show off a couple more features. <laughs> because the features just keep coming. First off, over here on the left, we have platform categories. Now, this was new a few betas ago, but I never really did a demo for it. But you'll notice that we have now nested options here in the, in the, in the platforms list, which really, really helps if you have a huge collection with a ton of platforms. It helps to organize them. And you can customize these to be whatever you want. Uh, but these are the defaults. Um, you can just go do, do it through tools, manage platforms, and it will let you manage platforms is right there. And it will let you, uh, tweak all those category names. So there's that. And then finally, the last new feature, uh, previously in a previous beta, we, we added a whole bunch of music soundtrack support. So you could listen to entire music soundtracks and navigate between tracks and all that stuff. That's now added to LaunchBox as well. So we can go down to, I'm going to go down to my MS DOS collection here, and I'm going to pull up doom Two hell on earth. And you'll notice it automatically plays the soundtrack with a random track because under view, I have autoplay music enabled and shuffle music enabled. And you can navigate between the tracks. You can select a track. You can do a whole bunch of stuff here and really, really makes for a nice experience if you want to manage a collection of video game soundtracks. So that's huge. We're, we're working on making that a little bit easier to use. Right now it does require an M3U playlist. Uh, we're going to add folder support eventually for that. 
But man, uh, the features just keep coming, guys. But we do need to step back at this point and stop putting in new features as best we can for the next week or two so that we can prep for an official release. Uh, because it's been a long time coming. We, we just keep putting out new features and new features and new betas and new betas, which is so much fun. That's what I love to do. Uh, it's not as much fun to stop putting out new features and focus on bugs, but that's what we need to do now to prep for finally the official 7.0 release because we got so much new content here. It's just amazing. And it's about time that we did put out an official release. So that is coming up here very shortly. One last thanks to everybody who's making these awesome contributions in, in, the, in the forums with the themes, the videos. Uh, huge thanks goes out to Circo from Emu Movies for all the work he's put in for the last couple weeks on getting all this new content available. And thank you to you guys, everybody in the community for so much support uh, and just being there for us to be able to do this. Cause you know, that's what we, it's what we all love to do. And it's such a blast. I'm, I'm still having the time of my life. So thank you guys so much. And I will talk to you next week.